online buying. Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, that shit is so tough. Hey, thanks, bro. Where you from, bro? Yeah, I'm from Philly. Oh, that's what's up. I'm from uh, Seattle, man. No, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey. I'm from Seattle, bro. Hey, uh, you heard about NFTs, bro? I am not buying your monkey NFT, cuz. No, oh, that's okay, bro. I ain't trying to sell you nothing, man. I'm just asking you if you know, you know what it is, bro. Yeah, bro. Them shits, them shits ain't worth shit no more. Nah, dude. Hey, you read the headlines, huh, bro? Listen, I'm a trader myself. When I, I'm do Forex myself. When I heard about that shit, I knew that shit wasn't going to go nowhere. Because who the fuck in this world is going to keep worth on a picture like there ain't no worth on any picture unless it's a painting i was about but, to say art bro <laughs> nah, nah, you're yeah right. nah unless it's a painting you feel me that's a whole yeah. that's a yeah. physical you mean yeah but when it yeah. comes to a whole online photo bro like come on bro it ain't no, no way that you about to put you ain't gonna put no value on that shit no a thousand percent bro and most of them are fucking 90 98 99 percent of them are fucking bullshit They're all fucking scams and fads and shit um, right, you you right. There probably is that one percent that's still probably trying to push it through, but bro, it's no way, bro. Cause like, even think about it. From twenty fifty, you think that one picture is gonna be valuable? Nah. No. Exactly. No. So it's like, bro, there they ain't no way they about to carry this shit for long. No, I, yeah, no, I, I feel you, bro. And that you're you're right about that. And is and anybody pushing that kind of shit, you it ain't going nowhere. It's going straight to shit. Most motherfuckers are basically scammers. You know what I mean? Grifters. And exactly. Shit like that, you know. Now I did have this one idea though. When that whole shit started happening and everything, I always wanted to do that shit for a clothing store. Now, if like you a, like for like example, a token gated one. What you mean by token gated? Like you hold you hold my NFT. That's the only way you can get in. Or, we, or it's the yes, only way no, you can well, buy right, clothes. So you hold you hold the NFT and you get all the discount that you you know that I provide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, people yeah, are doing, so, people do that with weed, bro. I have a couple of them, man. And I just get like a discount on weed and shit. And uh, wait, so you bought you bought NFT to get discount on weed? Hell yeah, bro! Thirty percent off everything, dog. Oh, uh, see, listen. That's that's the only way that I can see that NFT could be, could be running. Other than that, bro, there ain't no way that you' about to put value on a fucking picture. No, for sure. And like, there's no purpose it. on it. A, a thousand, the picture is basically just like a just the picture. It's just there to represent of what it is. You know or I mean? it's like a subscription to a membership. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, man, that that's what it is, man. It's just ba the the whole image, the whole picture shit. You're you're right, bro. That shit ain't worth nothing. It's just a it's just a picture. But it's it's what's yeah. behind it, you know, kind of like what you just said, you know, like if I have a st if I had a store, I'm selling merch, you know, I, you buy my NFT, you get all the discounts, you have a certain NFT, say you have like uh, rare ones, you know what I mean? You have one of my rare NFTs, you get fucking free clothes or you get this special edition clothes, you know, shit like that, man. Or, awesome uh, shit, bro. And you feel me like. If, uh, you mean all these loyal fans gonna keep sticking on it, bro? It's gonna have value, but yeah. like I said, if the picture don't have no purpose into it, bro. It's going to zero. You feel like pumped up those prices, thinking it was worth that, but the value in return wasn't, you know, that. You exactly. know what I mean? So that's why it fucking tanked from five hundred grand. Now they're like forty grand. You know what I mean? You know who's the biggest blame to it though? Uh, I don't know if you know the bull, but Gary V. Ah, yeah, I know that dude. I Yo, I'm not gonna lie. He was the biggest blame for that shit too, cause, bro, he was pushing that shit heavy and how everything is today, bro. It didn't come out how he actually he expected it. No, nah, but I, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, he, from what I've seen, you know, the reels. Oh uh, shit, my bad. Uh, from the reels no, and shit, did. he did say that there was like 99% of them will go to zero when the bull run was here. He did say that. I remember that. I did. I did remember that. Um, yeah, he, um, but yeah, man, he did push that stuff a lot. You know, I, I guarantee you probably a lot of people lost a shit ton of money on it, but, um, yeah, man, d to be honest with you, bro, I think the way that you think about it is the right way to think about Oof. NFT technology, bro. And that's the way it's going. You know what I mean? People, people got their, their greed out. People got their greed fucking in. They took their bags, they scammed and they're fucking out of here. Now we're in a, the barest of bear markets. You know what I mean? Uh, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. But you know, there's some, there's some, there's some real good builders in there, you know, some good people in there. But, um, 
you know, it, it takes time, obviously. And um, man, dude, this it's it's. I'm not worried about what's going on today. All the bullshit that's going on. I don't even. Know, I'm not even worried about the people that are here today, man. The technology is going to surpass us no matter what. It's going to surpass me. Oh uh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's going to evolve. You know what I mean? So like NFT and Web three shit, dude. In like ten years, I bet it's not even be called NFTs, bro. I mean, the internet used to be called the information highway. Like, who the fuck calls it that now? You know, we just call it the internet now. But um, yeah, bro. You know, just my advice, man. Don't buy shit. Don't even fucking you know look into it hard. But just you know. Just keep up with it, you know, because uh, maybe there's some moves that you'll be in- interested in down the line once it gets more serious, once it gets into your path or what your visions lie. You know what I mean? Do you uh, do you mess with Forex or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mess around with it a little bit. Not not too much. What about you? Uh, every day of my life. Yeah, yeah. What, what, do you, uh, what do you like about that? Bro, it's the easiest money that you can make. Yeah? Literally, yeah. bro. Um. Like, the biggest game that I got in a whole day was probably, like, at least four racks. Damn. And one day. One fucking day? Yeah, bro. God damn, man. How the fuck did What'd you do you that? Mean? I don't do that. The most I've gotten was, like, 250. Bro, but US 30. You trade US 30? Nah. US 30, that's US 30. where the biggest money is at. Now, I'm not going to lie. If you want to start with that, John, you definitely going to have to start with, like, a $600, $700 account. Okay. But I promise okay. you, bro, every day, like, this is where the big uh, Forex uh, so traders are begin. are you in money. now, or what are you doing? Yeah, just every yeah. day putting one trade and trying to get my gain. But, bro, like, the $4,000 one, nigga, I, like, one thing about me, I'm sorry that I said nigga. It's nah, just the way that I speak. But the $4,000, the way how I got that, John, bro, it was an accident, too. Normally, how I do my trades, like, I watch it throughout the day. You feel me? I go in every, like, 30 minutes if I got to every hour and look at it, blah, blah, blah. Like, I give myself a, a a ratio, so, like, one out of three. So, for example, if I put myself to lose $50 but gain 150 you feel me? That's how I trade. But the $4,000 one, bro, by accident, I just fell asleep on it. Nigga, I woke up the next day. Some crazy spike happened. I think it was the news on the U.S. 30. Bro, crazy spike got me to four thousand dollars that one day, bro. But on average, bro, on average, I be making like four hundred, maybe up to eight hundred dollars a day. Oh, dude, that's fucking solid, bro. That's solid. That's like that's like what, like seventy bucks an hour, bro, or some shit like that. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. bro. Damn. U.S. thirty, bro. U.S. thirty is gotta, the the only. Write that down, bro. Write that U.S. thirty, bro. Trust me, U.S. thirty, nigga. You gonna make your money out there, John. And listen, don't even listen. If, don't even hear it from me. Le- uh, search up Q Banks, uh, Anthony Worlds, all them folks, bro. That's all they trade, bro. I'm what? trying to tell you, that's really where the only money at. All those other pairs that you see in forex market, yeah, they're they're like you mean how we look at penny stocks. Mm, okay. You okay. feel me? If you want to make a quick little fifty to hundred bucks, you feel me? You could do country pairs or you mean oil. Uh, big, uh, cryptocurrencies, all those type of things. But yo, I'm telling you, US 30, I'm telling you, you can make $20 in like three seconds. Damn. If you need it. Yeah. Damn. You I'm, I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to have to check it out. All right, brother. I'm going to hop off. Peace out, bro. All right, bro. Peace out.